If you subscribe to Microsoft Office 365, you can very easily import real-time stock quotes into the version of Excel that comes with Office 365. But not everybody wants to pay a monthly subscription fee for Office 365. Some of us prefer to use the home or professional version of Office that comes with what I'm using, Excel 2019, or perhaps an older version of Excel. This video will show you how to import real-time stock quotes into versions of Excel that are not cloud-based. First, we'll import data using Google Finance data, and then we'll repeat the process using data from Microsoft. This video was made using Microsoft Excel 2019. Here's my problem. This is my investment portfolio. I've constructed this little worksheet on my home computer and it resides on my home computer's hard drive. I don't particularly want to upload this to the cloud because of privacy concerns. So what I do periodically is open up this workbook and simply update these three cells with the current prices to get an update on my portfolio balance. I'd like to automate the process so that I never have to do that and real-time stock quote data flows into these three cells. I established a Gmail email account and when you do that you get access to a bunch of free apps here. One of them is Drive which is cloud storage and one of them is Google Sheets. So I created a Google Sheets file that resides on my Drive and it's called ETF price data. On this file I have those same three exchange traded funds I'm invested in and I'm pulling in their prices using this formula right here. So those are real-time stock quotes. They're not updated by the minute, but about every five minutes or so they do update. I'd like to import the contents of these cells into my workbook that is an Excel file that resides on my hard drive. How do I do that? Well, the first thing I need to do is make this Google Sheets file public and you do that by saying file publish to the web and you have some options that come up here you can publish the entire document or just the sheet well our workbook only has one sheet in it so it doesn't really matter what we select there you want to select either comma separated values or you can actually choose Microsoft Excel I'm gonna go with Excel and before I publish it, I'm going to open up this section down here where there's some specifics. We'll stick with entire document and you want to make sure this box is checked to automatically republish when any changes are made. That way when Google Finance updates those quotes, the link we will create here will automatically be updated. So let's publish that. Are you sure you want to publish? Yes. And we get a link here. I'm going to hit Control C to copy that link. And then we're basically done here with our Google Sheet. Now I'm back in my personal Excel workbook. And I'm going to go to the Data tab. And I'm going to Get Data from the Web. When you open up that option, this dialog box opens up. There's no need in this case to go to the advanced tab. We can stick with basic and I'm going to hit control V to paste in my link. Now you'll notice this is the link for Google Docs and if you go to the end you can see the output is an XLSX file or a, an Excel file. Let's hit OK. That takes a couple of seconds and you can see here my sheet is available and there's a preview of what's on that sheet. Let's move this up. There are some options down here. One is to transform the data. We don't need to do that. We'll take it all. Transform data basically equates to editing the data. You can delete rows or columns and tailor the data the way you want it, but w as I said, we'll just take it all. There's also two options under load. 
Let me move that up a little bit. There's load and load two. If you hit load, it's going to go create a new worksheet within your workbook and put it there. If you hit load two, you can specify where you want it to load. I actually, in this case, want it to load on a separate worksheet so it's out of the way and all by itself. So let's go ahead and hit that. And after a couple of seconds, you see your new worksheet that was created. I'm going to rename this Google Data. From here, it's a pretty simple matter. You just go back to your worksheet here. And for this quote, for the exchange traded fund symbol VTI, we'll just set it equal to that cell and so on down the line. Those prices will be updated frequently, but if you open this workbook and you want to make sure you've got up to date prices coming in or periodically when you have it open already, all you have to do is go to the data tab and hit refresh. Look for the change here and we see a small change has taken place already since the market is open as I'm doing this right now. And now I can open and close my personal workbook whenever I want to and simply hit the refresh button whenever I choose to get the most recent available prices for my securities. Now let's do the same process using Microsoft Data. I have an Outlook account we'll use to do that. This is my investment portfolio. I've recolored it a slightly different color so you can differentiate. I've got the same problem. I want to pull Microsoft Finance data into these three cells. This is my Microsoft Outlook email account. Much like my Gmail account on Google, this comes with several free Microsoft applications, including the Office 365 free version of Excel. I created a file that I store on OneDrive, which is much like Google Drive. It's cloud storage, and my file resides there. Let's open that up. Now the Microsoft Excel mechanization is a little bit different from Google Sheets. You need to go in here and take these three cells where I've got my three ETFs listed. These are just letters in a cell. Go to the data menu and designate these cells as stocks. There's a little disclaimer here about stock market data. You want to make sure these are the correct ETFs that we want and they are. And after you do that, you need to go in here and click on this little symbol right here. And we're going to ask to provide price data on these three securities. And Office 365 is going to fill in the latest quotes off to the right here. At that point, you don't need this Office 365 free version of Excel file anymore. It's going to reside on your OneDrive and constantly update the real-time data. So you can simply close this. It auto saves. Now I'm back in my personal workbook and I'm going to pull in that data from Office 365. How do I do that? I'm going to get data from a file from a workbook and this includes workbooks that reside on Microsoft OneDrive. Once that opens I'm going to select OneDrive, go to my documents, there's my file. After a few seconds this navigator box opens up, it looks just like the one with Google Sheets. Let's get a preview of our sheet. It's got drawn some errors here, but uh, we've got the prices we need, and I'm going to go ahead and load those in another worksheet. I'm going to move this over to the right, and I'm going to call this Microsoft Data. From that point on, you do it exactly the way you did before. And I think we can uh, copy this one. and paste as formulas. So these formulas refer to the other sheet. 
where those prices reside and now we're getting real-time updates. Whether you're using Google Finance data or the Microsoft data, go frequently to the data tab and hit that refresh button. This solution involves adding a separate worksheet to serve as kind of a holding bin for your incoming data. If anybody has a way to import that data directly into the cells on the, the worksheet you want without doing that, I would be very interested in hearing about that in the comments section. There's one other thing very much worth mentioning in this video, and that is that you can control the refresh frequency and you have some other controls over that. So if you go to data and you click on this queries and connections, I renamed these one for Google data and one for Microsoft data. But if you right mouse click on this and go down to properties, you can see your query properties. Now this is the default setting. Enable background refresh and refresh basically on command. But I can change this to refresh every one minute if I choose and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I can also choose to refresh data when opening the file. You, you would think people would want that as a default but it is not the default. So I'm going to go ahead and change both of those to tailor the refresh rate to what I want. And I recommend you consider doing the same. Hopefully you've found this video interesting and informative. I would very much appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel as subscribers are the thing I need most. Thank you for visiting Spreadsheet Geek.